Hello and welcome back to our Sweden campaign in Common Universalis. It's been a couple of days since I last recorded, so I just need to get myself reacquainted with the game. Um, seems like all of Scandinavia is in our possession. Alliance still with France. Yes, how is the new world going? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I like it. I like it. It's good stuff. Alright, lovely. Um, national decisions available. We could reorganize the government. Hmm. Corruption is getting up there. Are we currently trying to pay off corruption? A little bit, but not very much. Is that affecting our prestige? No. We'll try and pay off a little bit more so it goes up a little bit slower, but otherwise I think we're fine on that front. Um, need more sailors. One thing this mod does do is makes sailors a lot more relevant. Because right now they're, you know, in the base game they're kind of irrelevant. Uh, this definitely does go some way to uh, alleviating that problem. We can't really attack into the HRE right now because obviously uh, Mr. Emperor is a bit of a dick. He would come and slap us around a bit. Uh, who's that? Pilot Ozero, no guy in Kazan having a bit of a fight? That's fine. Nobody loses 10 loyalty. I get a Diplo insult CV on Bella Ozero and lose 33, or just lose 15 prestige. I can afford that, that's fine. And with that extra bit of loyalty from the nobility, we could raise levies. We could do that. It's not that much, though. I'd rather wait until we can uh, get some military points from them. Speaking of, can we get some from you? Not until 26. All right, never mind then. I think at the moment then we're just going to wait until we can tech up a lot. Um, thinking that perhaps, even though we are a little bit further behind in the Diplo department, I kind of want to just push my admin focus. My lord, our efforts have paid off. Sigvard Stenbock has improved his maneuver. Very nice. Mm, I kind of want to hire somebody. Like, but who? I suppose I could afford this guy. Let's see actually how much it would uh, end up giving me, right? So he gives me plus 10% commercial tax. He costs 60. I pay out 80. So if I take him, it costs... 61, which is less than expected. Gain ducats, the clergy gains loyalty, the burgers lose loyalty. Can we afford to get the burgers loyal again? No, not until 24. So the clergy, if you lose loyalty, we could give you money. Kinda don't wanna do that though. Let's just take the money and you will just have to get happy on your own. There's not much we can do about it. But 128 ducats. We can try and spend that somewhere, right? There's not much we can actually afford. We could afford a road in Bornholm or Shetland or Faroes. I'm not sure. Not sure that is kind of worth it at all, to be honest. Hmm. I guess I could... God damn it. Fucking rebels. Uh, I guess I could... Um... No, I shouldn't integrate you. Shouldn't really build anything in your land either. Danger Separatist, you're probably going to try and go to Shelland. You've got three maneuver, I've got four, you've got one maneuver, I've still got four. So if you come to me, I'm going to get the crossing pen, uh, crossing bonus. So that's going to be working out in my favor. But you're going to go to Hueland instead. Nanticoke is finished. Very nice. I think it's time for Doug. Doug. Or I could do Chesapeake. Mm, let's do Chesapeake. I know it gives weird borders, but whatever. Alright, so you're in Hueland. Let's go and kill you guys in Hueland first. Um, 
Lose a stat for 15 absolutism. Or gain 3 stability. Who? Um, 3 stability is fucking insanity. After the disastrous war of 1674 to 79, which Sweden was more or less forced into by France, Charles the 11th and broad layers of the Swedish administration realized that something had to change. The king, in two surprisingly painless parliament sessions in 18, 1680 and 1682, assumed sole control of the country with no obligation to heed either parliament or royal council. Thus began the period of Caroline absolutism in Sweden, which the king called the Grey Coat, for his humility and simple habits answerable only to God. Monthly autonomy change until the end of the game. Stability is temporary. If I if I lose some stab though, it will cost me to boost it again. Fuck it, that's that's gotta be worth it though. That has to be worth it. King shall rule supreme. And yes, the disaster is looming again. But now it's only 108 to boost ability. I'm going to do it. It's got to be worth it. It has to be. Either way, you're now dead. And now you do land fire damage, which is always nice. And we kill you as well. Very nice. Lovely. Very nice. We're obviously going to lose a little bit of money while we reinforce our guys, but it shouldn't be too painful. It's going to be fine. It's going to be absolutely fine. Um, military ideas. I think I'd rather have that morale. That sounds like a much better idea. Let's go back to Hueland. You're fine. Uh, Olenets has got some rebels. Are we currently trying to convert Olenets? Yes, and you're almost finished, so it shouldn't be too worrying. You can drill again. Dock and oboe is complete. Very nice. You still haven't arrived. How long until you're finished? Eh, a while. You've been caught. That's a bit of a shame. So instead of... Was it you? No, it wasn't. We'll build spy network on this guy then. Peacock. At some point, I will have to go over there and murder them, but not quite yet. Right, so autonomy should be coming down nicely now, and we'll make a bit more money. It's going to be great. Um, and with that much money, actually, I think it's probably worthwhile getting a bit more in the way of advisors. Diplo rep? Mm, let's see what we have for mill. Reinforce speed, sure. Fuck it, we'll get them both. Get them both. You're still unhappy, that's fine. Establish New World Missions. That would bring you to 79.8. Um, so if you were to get any more influence, then that would be pretty bad. Also, what we got for these? Baptism, yeah, we'll keep that. Yeah, we'll keep all of these, these are all good. All stuff that we want to keep for right now. And then as soon as all of this is finished, I'm going to see if the missionary exploit thing that we found in the uh, Mayo and Taxes is going to work here as well. Merchants leaving. Indeed, I could not care less. If you want to give me one option to click, I don't give a fuck. Right, so it's 144 months to convert Welland right now. If we put our missionary strength down to zero, it seems like it is just a uh, an exploit in Mayon Texas. Yep, it's just a Mayon Texas. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. Shoop, back up to full. We'll try and convert it anyway, because why not? Uh, it's only going to get harder. Actually, if I get rid of this, let's have a look at buildings. Any of these give me missionary strength? No. 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 
Definitely not, probably. Nope. Alright, fair enough. It was worth a look. It was worth a look. So basically, yeah, we're just waiting for tech. Although, we've got uh, global trade that is is growing in our country, it's just not growing very quickly. Is it worth, then, changing the focus here into um, institution spread? I think yes, we'll definitely do that. Also, I haven't looked at my prosperity in a while. It's something I don't tend to look at. Oh, it's looking good. I like it. I like that. It looks great. Now, how can we declare war on you without being absolutely boned? Um, what kind of army is England having now, right? Uh, I think they're my rival. Yes, they are. They've only got 4,000 men. All right, well, shit, we have to do it then. We have to go in. What's your supply limit? 24. That's perfectly acceptable. We're going to go to war with England, because of course we are. Extra military tech should do quite nicely. We'll be able to just swoop in from the north, swoop down, murder, murder, murder. All good. Hopefully. They will block me from crossing this strait, but it's probably not going to be too worrisome. I might even try and take, like, one province in Scotland and release Scotland as a vassal. That might work out pretty nice. How many transports? Eight transports. That's not bad at all. And it's nice that I can get here to here within a month as well. I could take humanist or exploration ideas. Again, just tech is tech is what we're focusing on right now. So we shall be doing that instead. I was to get there 9th of April, so we wait until the next month. No need to rush this. They've got 4,000 men. Doesn't matter. We don't need to be hasty. If only we had uh, military superiority, that would be glorious. Right, we'll get another one over there. Unfortunately, we probably will have to keep our entire navy docked up for the duration of the war. Also, was I stupid and did, got a little bit of uh, at sea attrition? I think I was. My bad. Right, time for war. Do you have any forts in the region here? I don't see any, other than obviously Desmond's capital fort. You are going to go and dock up in Hueland. This fort is turned on. Any other forts? Nope, I think we're good. Right, lovely. England, time for you to die, and it would be awesome if we could get men over here. You know what, maybe I could build some troops in Tir Canal. Should I, should I build some troops in Tir Canal? 193 days. Uh... Let's try and get three infantry. They can rush to Ulster. These guys can rush to Ayrshire. That might be worthwhile. That'll be more than probably these guys have got, right? Hopefully. I think that's probably a good idea. Unless you're going to give me some military access, which I doubt. Nope. And you're definitely not going to do it. Oh, you are. Oh, shit, yes. Right, how about I take uh, take that many, four infantry. Are you on the boats? Actually, it doesn't matter if you're on the boats or not. I would like you to go over here. We'll cancel the infantry we've just built here. And these are the guys that are going to, you know, march up and uh, take Ulster. 
And because we know that England only got like 4,000 men right there, we know that uh, we're kind of safe. You've got a 4371 general. Looks like I'm going to need to put somebody in charge. Well, that is a forest, so if I can just get someone relatively close in stats. Hmm, 2-4. Let's go with a 2-4-4. Right. I think it's time. I think it's time. Although, where's my boats? Here they are. Boats need to retreat. British boats are two heavies there. Be nice if I could snipe them, but I doubt I would get anything much done. So, January the 1st, that's when we invade. Alright, England, it's time for you to die. Uh, conquest of Ulster. Reconquest. Reconquest of Ulster. We're going to go there. That's going to stop this army from marching north. You are immediately going to get onto the mainland. Oh, wow. Okay, so they actually did invade and failed miserably. So I'm thinking we just go and we make sure we take Ulster so we can cross wherever we want. Alright, you go here. And anything I want to click? I don't think so. I think we're good. I think we are good. And yes, you've got naval supremacy. Don't care. Don't care. Not bothering me right now. As soon as you've taken this, right, now we can cross here at will. Lovely. This war is going to go fantastically well. This is like a surgical strike. This isn't a fucking war. Let's see if we can't do something like this as well. Fuck these Burgundian tra uh, trade ships. You need to come over here. So I don't want to get attacked by that army. Unless, yeah, split you in half. You're moving to Ayrshire. Please get locked. Oh, no, no, he doesn't want to do it anymore. Because you're moving to Ayrshire, that's why. He's scared. Conoy has become self-sustaining. Excellent. Go to Dog. Oh, we are being a little bit invaded. Holstein, that's your job. Alright, we are a little bit locked here because of the fort, but that's fine. You're moving to Lothian. Can you get to Lothian? You can get here, and if we... guys are moving north. I don't know what to do about these guys. I don't know. Like, I could get you down to here, make it sure so that this and this army are using your return province, which is somewhere. Or we could just ignore it and wait until you, you know, go somewhere and die. I don't know. I think we're gonna be fine, though. Fuck it. Fuck it. You can go to East March. Which is a marsh, but 10,000 versus whatever small army you have, I'm thinking I'm fine there. You need to retreat. Over here, let's reorganize the units into the Livs Livlenska army. Livlenska army. So you move over there, select this unit. Now you can go wherever the fuck you want, including attacking this army. Although I don't really want to attack you in the Highlands. So I guess maybe we'll just not. Here though, you've got one siege. Let's see if we can't 
take the cannons, move them to Lothian, get some siege, and move you over here. You guys move to Donegal, Midlands. Wait, are you seriously moving to... No, you're moving to Sutherland. I thought you were moving over to the Outer Hebrides. That would have been quite silly of you. Alright, well, um, I'm going to take a short break here. I think this war is going quite well. I don't see how we can possibly lose at this point. So, yeah, I'm going to take a short break here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.